Imagine a world in which there was never a broken bolt or a stripped out screw. Wouldn't that be great? Unfortunately, it's gonna happen. If you're like me, it seems to happen with just about every project, especially if there's rust. So in dealing with that broken bolt or screw, you really need a great extractor in order to get the job done effectively. So the question is, does brand really matter or are all brands pretty much the same? Today we'll be testing quite a few different brands, one costing six and a half times more than the least expensive brand. So let's get the testing underway and see which one is the best. In the first test, we'll see how each brand performs on extracting damaged screws. In the second test, we'll see how each brand performs on grade 5 bolts. To establish our baseline regarding how much torque it takes to remove a screw, I've got a 4 inch drywall, a 2.5 inch Tapcon, and a 2.5 inch exterior screw. This is a pressure treated 4x4. Once I install each of these screws in this board, we'll see how much torque it takes to remove each of the screws. I'll be using this drill press to apply a lever force down on top of a torque wrench as we back this screw out of this board. This will give us the number of inch pounds required to back out each one of the screws. I went ahead and removed the belt on the drill press to allow freedom of movement. The four inch drywall screw required 79 inch pounds to begin backing out of the board. The two and a half inch Tapcon required 49 inch pounds. The two and a half inch exterior screw required 45 inch pounds. The least expensive screw extractor set we'll be testing is this six piece costing $9.99 made by Tia Mat. Range includes three millimeters all the way up to 25. One eighth of an inch all the way up to one inch. Made in China. Looks like the plastic case is already broken. While the Mohs hardness tester isn't the gold standard for measuring hardness of steel, it provides some pretty good information and the screws we'll be testing are number five for hardness. Okay, that's completely stripped. The first extractor we'll be testing requires a 7 seconds inch hole, so what I'm gonna do is apply a little cutting fluid, drill out this screw, and then we'll measure the strength of this screw extractor. The next step is to tap this screw extractor into the screw. Unfortunately, the Tiamat didn't provide a measurable grip on the screw, and the Tiamat experienced quite a bit of damage. The second least expensive set we'll be testing is this Irwin brand 5-piece Hansen Spiral Flute Extractor Set costing $10.34. Sizes include EX1 through 5. The size of screw or bolt that can be extracted is from 3 seconds all the way up to 5 eighths. Made in USA with global components. The Irwin did well at 55 inch pounds, which is more than enough to remove the two and a half inch screw, but not enough to remove the four inch drywall screw, which required 79 inch pounds. Fortunately, the screw head did not shear off during the process. The Irwin held up well with minor damage to the flutes. The third least expensive brand we'll be testing is this 18 piece Yasco brand costing $10.99. Made in China. This kit includes eight drills as well as eight extractors. A traditional twist drill is designed to go clockwise. The Yasco kit goes counterclockwise. The Yasco drill did not cut well at all. I had to place my hand drill under the chuck of the drill press and use the leverage of the drill press to apply around 250 pounds of force to drill the hole. Unfortunately, the Yasco extractor broke at only 55 inch pounds. Costing $11.99 is this Ryobi Spiral Screw Extractor Set. The instructions include five different photographs. The first step is to apply a cutting oil. You use a center punch on the broken fastener. Step three is drilling the fastener, tapping extractor into the broken fastener. Step five, twist counterclockwise to remove the broken fastener. This extractor set will handle a number eight screw all the way up to five eighths inch bolt. Made in China. Just like the Tiamat, the Ryobi just didn't get a good grip on the screw and the torque adapter didn't make it past zero inch pounds. It also experienced a lot of damage as the screw appears to be made of a harder metal than the extractor. Costing $12.95 is this as seen on TV Speed Out brand damaged screw extractor. Removes any screw or bolt. Removes any strip screw in 10 seconds or less. Professionally made in China to speed out specifications. It has a screw and a bolt chart size. The smallest fastener this works with is a number four through number seven screw or a five millimeter bolt. All the way up to number 24 screw and three eighths inch. After coming in contact with the screw, the speed out bit is pretty chewed up. The speed out is designed to be used inside of a drill, so I'll be doing that and I'll have an inline torque adapter. 
Once I power up the drill, this torque adapter will keep track of the highest amount of torque applied, and we'll see how much torque we get out of the speed out. The speed out screw extractor actually did a good job at 157 inch pounds, which is about three times better than the previous brands tested. The extractor end held up very well without any noticeable damage. Costing $24.95 is this Bosch 12 piece screw extractor and drill set. How to extract a screw. Drill, tap, extract. Made in China. The Bosch kit includes six black oxide drills as well as six extractors. The Bosch came with a set of twist drills and the one used for the screw did a very good job but it did experience quite a bit of wear. The Bosch seemed to be doing a great job but suddenly broke at 79 inch pounds. Costing right at $25 is this Renstig brand three-piece extractor set. Made in Germany. Extract screws size 3 16 up to 1 half inch. Mark the part with a center punch. Drill the hole with appropriate drill. Hammer the screw extractor into the hole so that the blade penetrates into the material. Screw the extractor out using either a wrench or a tap wrench. The Renestig seemed to be doing a great job until it broke at 74 inch pounds. Costing $28.49 is this Erwin Hansen multi-spline extractor set. Size range 1 8 inch all the way up to 13 30 seconds. Made in USA of global components. The smallest Irwin extract was really just too large for the screw and using a 1 8 inch drill bit weakened the screw too much. The head of the screw sheared off during the test at around 84 inch pounds. The Irwin held up really well with only minor wear. The third most expensive brand we'll be testing at a cost of $31.89 is this Grabit Pro screw and bolt extractor. Screws number 4 through 24 and bolts 3 16 up to 3 8 inch. Faster than any other tool on earth. Drill, flip tool, and extract. While the Speedout and Gravit Pro may look like the same tool, Gravit Pro easily drilled into the screw without applying excessive force. The drill also held up much better with far less wear than the Speedout. Gravit Pro did an amazing job at 205 inch pounds and would have put up a bigger number, but the drill just wasn't up to the task. There was some minor wear as one might expect after experiencing such an incredibly high torque load. At $59.98, this eight-piece Drillhog brand is the second most expensive brand we'll be testing. Drillhog brand is made in USA. Just like the Irwin, the screw broke during the drill hog test at 62 inch pounds. Considering the damage to the flutes, the screw seems to be quite a bit harder than the drill hog extractor. Costing $66.41, this 12 piece Cleveland brand is the most expensive extractor set we'll be testing. Made in USA. Cleveland Twist Drill did make easy work of drilling the screw, but it did experience some wear. The head of the screw sheared during the test at 62 inch pounds. The flutes on the Cleveland also experienced a very small amount of wear. When it comes to removing a stripped out screw, the type of extractor makes a huge difference with the Grabit Pro finishing first and the speed out not far behind. Several of the other extractors did fairly well, but they required drilling down into the shaft of the screw, causing significant risk of screw failure during the extraction. Since the speed out and the Grabit Pro extractors did by far the best, let's do one more test with both of them. I'll be testing new extractors for both the speed out and the Grabit Pro, beginning with the speed out. I applied well over 100 pounds of downward force on the speed out drill, and the exterior screw was just too hard for it. I went ahead and used one of the twist drills from the boss set and it made easy work of it. The speed out did a terrific job of extracting the screw. The Gravit Pro did a great job drilling into the screw. It did an even better job extracting the strip screw. We'll test the larger extractors in the next test. The bolts are grade 5 9 16 inch. I'll first use a center punch. I used a 19 64 inch twist drill for 8 of the 11 bolts. The Yasco, Speedout, and Grabit Pro have their own drills, which are a lot smaller diameter. I'll be attaching each one of the bolts that we'll be testing this piece of steel. And there's a wrench under the bolt to make sure that it doesn't turn. Testing the $9.99 Tia mat first. And the Tia mat actually did pretty good at 1,036 inch pounds. A close look at the Tia mat and the spiral screw did experience some minor wear. The Irwin did nearly the same as the Tia mat at 1,007 inch pounds. The Irwin experienced minor wear. I used the Yasco drill that's designed to be used with the largest extractor. The drills in the kit just aren't very good quality and it took a couple of minutes to drill into the bolt. 
Once the Yasco threaded itself into the bolt, it delivered 398 inch pounds, which isn't too bad considering that it's a much smaller extractor than the other brands. Once the Ryobi threaded into the bolt, it delivered 868 inch pounds. The spiral screw on the extractor experienced a little wear. The speed out took around 45 seconds to drill the bolt and the drill was pretty much used up after one use. The speed out did a good job at 769 inch pounds, but there was quite a bit of wear on the extractor. The Bosch did the best yet at 1,531 inch-pounds. The amount of wear on the flutes was very minor, especially considering the impressive torque load. The Randy Stig lost grip at 452 inch-pounds. There is quite a bit of wear and tear on the extractor. The Irwin delivered 954 inch-pounds. It held up very well without any visible damage to the extractor. Gravit Pro did a much faster job drilling out the bolt than the speed out, but definitely not as effective as a high quality twist drill. The Gravit Pro achieved 632 inch pounds. It held up very well without any visible wear on the extractor. The Drill Hog did the best yet at 1,625 pounds before it lost grip. While there was quite a bit of wear on the extractor, 1,625 is an impressive number. The Cleveland did great at 1,377 before the bolt split. It experienced very little wear on the flutes. The Drill Hog, Bosch, and Cleveland all share the same spiral flute extractor design and finished in the top three positions. The Tiamat, Irwin, and Ryobi were all fairly close together and the smaller extractor tools finished towards the bottom as one might expect. When dealing with those stripped out screws, it's very hard to beat the Gravit Pro. It did a terrific job putting up some really impressive numbers and very effective at removing that stripped out screw. With that being said, it is sort of expensive. The spiral flute design seemed to be the most effective design for larger applications. And when you consider the bargain price, it's really hard to beat the Irwin. At only about $11, it's gonna do a very good job. All my video ideas, including this one, come from viewers. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. I read and reply to as many comments as possible. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and I look forward to next time.